everyone welcome back to another video i'm so excited for this one guys it's called i tried food from every state in america this was done by joshua wiesman i'm gonna leave his channel down below it's got a lot of views guys 6.5 million views is crazy this is going to be a two-part reaction so part two will be uploaded next week so stay tuned for that one and subscribe if you don't want to miss it as well by the way guys i'm so hungry i haven't eaten today so i don't think this is a good idea to watch this video because i think this is going to be torture for me but let's get into the video i'm so excited today we're going to make taste and rank the most popular dish in every single state in Why america yes all 50. the usa is a melting pot of food and culture and everyone seems to think that their state has the best food while some states have their well-known favorites some just straight up have no food culture sorry so he's gonna like, rank them that, too though? Here's how this works. You, the audience, either in my YouTube community or my Instagram DMs, voted for what dish or food best represents mm. your state. Now that we have our food, each state will be ranked on the most famous tier list on the internet. Now, a state can rank anywhere between A through F, and if it's truly God tier, then you have a special seat on the S tier list. At the end, every state we rank as S tier will compete in a showdown to determine Go which state has the best dish. But first, I have the most important announcement of the year. My cookbook is officially <gasps> out today. Cool. In the description. Go support them, guys. <laughs> I've never seen this creative before. I didn't want to make just another cookbook. I worked really hard on making something that was the first cookbook of its time, focused on the one thing that no one ever talks about, which is texture. Dozens huh. of different recipes, techniques, things like Nashville hot honey karage, brownies, greatest mac and cheese of your life. I hope you like it. Oh God, in the yeah. description. You can buy it now if you want it. What that being said, is? on with the video. We're starting Delicious. with one of the strangest named dishes I can think of. Number one, Utah funeral potatoes. It's basically a cheesy potato casserole. You get some cornflakes, toss in butter, lightly seasoned, put on top of a creamy cheese cheesy shredded potato mixture and baked at 350 for an hour and there it is. Certainly looks like it should be served at a funeral. I'm gonna say C. It's not as bad as it looks. D. That's a okay. D. This would be oh. close to an F if it wasn't for the crunch on top. I'm sorry. Our very first ranking of the day as a D tier. Wow. Sorry, but I'm also not sorry. Utah. Utah. Number two, New Jersey pork roll breakfast sandwich. I heard that there's a big argument okay, about okay. whether or not this is Taylor ham. I don't want to get involved. Sear your sliced pork product on both sides. Place it on the bottom bun. American cheese on top of your I mean, pork. You can't really go wrong with fat, it, right? It lightly. Place a fried egg on top. Close it up. And well, the cross section doesn't look too bad. You can't go wrong, really. That's an F. Oh my god, it really is that salty. Holy <gasps> Really? It you guys don't like, like it? Like, it tastes like preservative. <laughs> I hate the oh. Taylor ham, but I love eggs, cheese, and bread, so right. it's getting a C. The Taylor ham's starting to grow on me. I'm still gonna give it a C. Oh, so New like Jersey Taylor lands ham. at a C tier. I've never had Moving that Moving on to before. number three, Ohio Cincinnati style chili. I can't oh, tell yeah, you how many times people it. have asked for this. <sighs> And we're finally here. It's literally <laughs> Skyline can of chili over spaghetti with raw onion and shredded yellow chili. I like raw I, uh, onion. I'm sorry. Well, carrot, to me, it smells like a weird. white suburban mother's idea of char. But was that carrot or cheese? If an Italian saw this, I genuinely think that they would call the police immediately. I was born in Ohio, and I fully disagree with this. Nah. Nope. F. F. I'm going to go D. I think Ohio is like a beautiful state. If this ceased to exist, I would not care. Out of the hundreds, if not thousands, if not hundreds <laughs> of thousands of sauces that can go on a pasta, why this? That is an F. That made me sad. And we have Damn. our first F tier. Real sorry, Ohio. Well, hopefully number four does better for Minnesota tater tot hot dish, which is quite literally oh. Great Depression era. Beef, onions, vegetables, cheese with these. actual tater tots. Placed that looks yum. Placed on top, organized beautifully, of course. Baked at 350 for one hour. That looks out, delicious. And I'm not going to lie, it does look kind of nice. I'm here for it the top. It does. Vibes. It looks yum. See, see for me, very middle okay, of the line. Okay, okay. It's average. I think it's a solid B, but I guess that gives oh, us our B. average at a C placement. Number five, right. Oklahoma fried onion burger. Follow beef on a plow shirt, onions on I top, onions. smash, season, sear, flip, and cheese. Repeat with the second patty, place right, them on a soft bun, and that's your burger. Onions are good on a burger. You can't when go you wrong. smash them into the patty, I feel like it takes it up to here. It's something Real. special. It's really special. It might be an S for me. It's an S. Wow. It's an S for me too. Too classy. S. Oklahoma. Which is exactly why number six <gasps> is yet another burger, New Mexico Green Chili Cheeseburger. Look, Yum. you guys voted for this. Oh. So same concept, smash patty, top with green chilies, top with cheese, melt the cheese, do the same with the other patty, mayo up your bun, layer it up, and we eat. Mayo, I, mean, I love good. mayo. It's good. It's a lot going on. I'm gonna give it an A because it could be improved upon. It tasted okay. good. It's just really not a fun experience for me. I'm gonna give it a B. I'll say it's <laughs> not a fun At the same experience. time, it could be an F tier. It could. Because ultimately, it's just about putting green chilies on a burger. 
hamburger, so it's between an A and an S. The average rating says this is an A. Now, while we're in the Midwest, we're going to move to number seven, Wisconsin fried cheese curds. It's quite literally yes! cheese curds that I are breaded and fried. I love cheese curds. When I left the Midwest, the one thing I was scared to leave behind was cheese curds. And I'm glad we have it here today. And it's always an S in my book. Yes. Yes. It's, it's a B. It's a small mozzarella <gasps> stick. I'm done with you. I'm going to join you, Cam. This is a chode mozzarella stick. A chode. <laughs> but by popular choice, it's an S tier, I guess. <laughs> Moving on to number eight, West Virginia's official food, the pepperoni roll. I think we got mostly votes for pepperoni roll. You punch down a proof dough, you divide it into eight pieces, stretch them out in a rectangle, add your pepperoni, some mozzarella, roll it up into sort of a log. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't make pepperoni rolls. This seems right. I'm guessing here. Take the core into for 15 to 20 minutes, let it cool slightly, and now we taste test. But we're gonna cut it with my patented knife book. Did you know that this is available today? <laughs> the link's in the description. Please go order it. Knife not included. I just did this. Don't Special do that. edition. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Not much that. going on. Give it a C. I'm giving it a yeah, B. It looks I would eat it again. To me. I'd eat it again. I just wouldn't be that excited. I'm gonna give it a solid C. So C tier. Now we move a little further south for number nine, North Carolina, a pulled pork sandwich with a Lexington style barbecue sauce. That's vinegar, plus tomatoes, good. and spices. It's a wee bit spicy, bro, but not too much. A wee now, bit I know wham, wham, some people like the tomatoless Eastern style vinegar sauce, but this is what we're doing. I've had a long opinion about vinegary barbecue sauces on pulled pork. It's good. It's a B. That's true. I was going to say that. Even if I was in North Real. Carolina, I probably wouldn't be looking for pulled pork sandwiches. I think pulled pork in general, aside from it being attached to North Carolina, is just B tier generally. I'd agree with that. So that came in at a B tier. It looked average to Number me. 10, I feel Hawaiian like it needed Spam a cream sauce. It is quite literally the only canned meat I accept because it's not canned meat. It's its own thing. You're going to need a musubi. Never had this. Half cup piece of nori, layer in some rice, some sweet soy glaze spam. It, I mean, this is just beautiful thing. Some more rice, press it down, wrap that puppy up, and split it I've never even half. had Spam before. It's beautiful right there, brother. I love, love Spam Masubi. I mean, look at that. It's a perfect Bro. food. Nice cross section. It's tough. This is really hard, but I'd say there's nothing wrong with this being a solid A tier. A plus plus. <gasps> so close to S. Very I don't know if you've I had this before. I think it would be an S if we were from Hawaii. So I'll wow. give it an A. Coming in at a ripe wow. A tier. That surprises to number 11, me. Wyoming. Uh, elk. If you're confused, so am I. Ooh. This is what the people of Wyoming voted for. So we went for a Wyoming elk steak, Ooh. which is apparently pretty good for you. High in protein, zinc, B12, but contains a chef's oh, worst nightmare. Yeah. Low Gosh, fat. Season it lightly, good. salt and pepper. Seared it Low and basted fat. it with a nice herby garlic oh butter. Gosh. It's pretty gamey, but I, I I like game. I'm gonna give it a D. No, I'm not like a person to really eat game. I can see where the appreciation would come for it, but for me, it's an F. I like wild game, it's great, sure. But to represent out of all the foods that are here that we're gonna eat today, this is an F, I guess. F for no fat. Now remember, oh just because it's gosh. F doesn't mean it's bad. It's just a comparison to all the other foods that we have today. <laughs> doesn't mean it's didn't bad. taste that special. So let's amp this up with number 12, Texas. Texas gotta be barbecue. Live. And it's not Whataburger, okay? And whoever voted for Whataburger to represent Texas, I'm gonna find you and ship you out of here, brother. Out of the hundreds of votes we got on Texas, the majority of them went towards brisket. If you talk about yes. enjoyment of food, things melting in your mouth is very high up on that list. Good brisket never fails to do that. I'd put this Whoa. in the A tier. I'm going A -tier. If you live in Texas and you eat smoked brisket once or twice a month, kind of like it's an A tier. If you're from out of town, it's an S tier. That being said, for us, we're giving brisket a solid, highly, highly rated A tier. Number nice. 13, Washington Cedar Plank Salmon. Apparently they cook their famous Ooh, Pacific yummy. Salmon on Cedar Planks. The food culture there seems to be Not sure how I feel about it, but we're gonna try it. That's so good. Yummy. It has such a good smokiness to it. So I'm gonna go with A. I'm gonna give it an A also. In comparison to smoked salmon, this is really close. It's not exactly the same. I think this is an impressive thing to eat and anyone who has not had this should eat it. We gotta give it an A for me. A shocking nice. A tier. Number 14, nice. Arkansas biscuits with chocolate gravy. This is probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. There's no what way this fray? is going to Kylie. This might be the most American thing we have. Arkansas. What? Is this a dessert? It looks like one. I mean, one thing I do know is that these biscuits are great because they're from my old cookbook, which you should get my new cookbook, which is in the link in the description. Do you think this is the only food we're gonna eat that looks the same coming out as it does going in? This is amazing. You can't beat that. <laughs> wow, that works out way too well. I wanted to hate this a lot. Arkansas, holy really? I'm gonna say this is a well-deserved mess for me. Whoa! Really? How is that not an S tier if we just ate a whole one without even thinking about it?
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hate that this wow. is so simple and dumb. I don't want to give it an S. I'm going to give it an A++++, plus 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 almost but S. It's going to go into doesn't feel right. right about this, but it doesn't matter. Somehow, Arkansas wrestled its way into S tier. Yeehaw! Shout out Arkansas. Moving on to number 15, Missouri. Toasted ravioli, which uh, apparently is a St. Louis favorite. It's just ravioli that's been breaded and fried. It's all good old GBD. That's golden brown delicious. Got to be good. I'm going to go C. I'm going to go B. I kind of like this. D. I'm sure it can be better. I just don't need it to be like that. So we'll average it out at C tier. <laughs> I don't really Number like 16, ravioli, Nevada, so. Which you'd be shocked how hard it was to find a dish for this place because it's a desert. And weirdly enough, the number one voted item was shrimp cocktail. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't Random. put it all the way up in an A. This is really boring from a culinary standpoint. This is just a shrimp cocktail. I think it's a D. So we got a D, a B, and an A. Yeah. So I think that that probably evens it out to what? A C? B. Oh, Number same. 17, oh, Delaware. Yeah. Scrapple. So apparently this is actually from Pennsylvania, but Delaware loves it so much that they voted for is it, it to like represent them. I'm sorry if you don't like this choice. Neither did we. Smelly deli. Oh, God. That's it. I don't want to eat this. God. Someone, vo they voted for this? Um, do you know the way throw up feels in your mouth when it's coming up? That's the way that oh. feels. F. Ah. Get oh. better oh. food. F tier. Oh. Number 18, Delaware. Rhode Island, Why'd calamari. You, for you should know what this is. It's quite literally a fried calamari. Toss in a little garlic Yum. butter, some hot peppers. Eh, sounds good. I don't like calamari, but it kind of yeah. just tastes like anything fried. Honestly, one of your best takes ever. Oh, I was trying to figure out how to describe yeah. it. That's exactly what it is. I'm going to give yeah. a strong, powerful C. I'm going A. I grew up in the Northeast. I think this is fire. It's a really strong, powerful B. So we'll average that out at B. Number 19, South Dakota Chislik. I don't know if I should be saying that word out loud, but hey, whatever you say, South Dakota. It's seasoned lamb it on so skewers good, and, well, deep fries. Sometimes people use mutton or venison, but it's just seasoned and thrown directly oh into deep fries. That's God. it. I'm not mad at that at all. It's pretty good. I'd give it an A. There's nothing wrong with it. I'll give young. it a B. If there was something that was traditionally supposed to go with this, I would give it a higher rating than I'm about to give it. I'm gonna give that a solid B. So we average out at a B. Number 20, North Dakota. We finally made it to the other Dakota. This is called Nofla, Knofla, Nofle. You guys know I'm not great with pronunciations. Soup. Long story short, it's a creamy German chicken and dumpling soup. I have a good feeling about this one. God damn. Very that good. good. I, really I love a good a, soup. But it's a very enjoyable A. And I, I don't really creamy, like dumplings, salty, though. It's salty, rich. It's also surprisingly balanced. But what I love about it and what's different about this than any other soup is these chewy dumplings that are in there. This is an A that aspires to be an S. That came in at an A tier. Number 21, Alabama barbecue chicken with white barbecue sauce. That's a thing. I have always thought white barbecue sauce was illegal with my mom being from Texas and, well, us living in Texas. But hey, we'll give it a try. You got a nice I've smoked chicken drizzled generously with a mayo vinegar based sauce. white barbecue sauce, which apparently Random. keeps the chicken from drying out. I don't know how true that is. It's actually really good. <laughs> I'm into that. For me, that's an A. It's a B minus. It's close to a C. It's good. It's just, if I were to never have that again, I wouldn't care. B. Yeah. B tier. <laughs> Number 22, Virginia, which everybody voted for country ham. That was it. Didn't vote for anything else. So we decided, well, let's give Virginia a helping hand and try to at least put it on a sandwich, which come to find out it's <laughs> as a sandwich on a buttered biscuit traditionally. D. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm going to give it a D. Like if I had to eat it, I would eat it and not hate it, but only if I had to eat it. Oh my God, I'm shocked. Uh, a D tier? It's unfortunate. Shocked. Number 23, Iowa, which is uh, the Iowa chop. It's just a pork porterhouse. I don't know how Iowa is allowed to claim this. That's all it is. You see it, you flip it. it. Maybe you nice. base it with some butter, fresh thyme, rosemary, bay leaf. Damn, that was a rest. lot It's going to be good, I mean, but it's just a pork chop. A Before lot. we taste this, please understand. I know some nice. Iowans, Iowa, Iowas, whatever they're called. I don't know. I'm sorry. Also voted for pork tenderloin sandwich. Unfortunately, that Damn. was way outvoted for Indiana, which we'll talk about next. But first, let's taste test Iowa. It's a pork chop. I give it a C. It's a C yeah. as well. I agree with that. A it C looks tier. nice. So moving on to number 24, Indiana, which is, is, yes, the pork tenderloin sandwich. Listen, I, before you get mad, we can pretend that you also got this too. This item got votes on both of these states, which is quite literally bottom bun, yellow mustard, massive, like comedically large piece of fried pork, raw <laughs> onion, mustard on top bun, lit it and eat it. Uh, I know this looks like a joke. Google it. It's a real thing. I think it's a fun eating experience, actually, because like you could nibble on the outside and get just pork, and then nibble on the inside, get a sandwich. It's a good sandwich. It's a good sandwich. The best version of this sandwich would get a B. 
Alaska smoked salmon spread it's is next. Good. Start by mixing cream cheese and salmon, oh. add some sliced chives, brewed shallot, season with Tabasco, or shirt, and lemon juice, a little salt. Pack that into a ramekin beautifully. Maybe some little crostini. I think I would like that. This is a really good snack. To me, it's not like a top meal out of 50 states. Yeah. That's absolutely beautiful. Nice. Even if you separate this from the it dipping, is. just call it salmon. Salmon is an incredible thing, and it comes from Alaska. One of the most amazing ingredients in the world, and in this form, it's incredible. I think just because of the oh significance, God, so I gotta hungry. give it an S. I would take away an S from another dish, so this could also be S. I would take cheese curds really? off of this. There are other things that are like right. cheese curds. There's nothing like this. This is an irreplaceable thing. Right. A mind-boggling right. listing at S tier? So sorry, but Wisconsin gets demoted. Wow. Too. <laughs> we had a general consensus decision to go ahead and demote it. Wisconsin, I'm sorry. Demoted. Number 26, Michigan, the pasty. It's a weird name. It reminds me a lot of English baked pastry. And that's what this is. It's a baked pastry filled with beef, veggies. It looks like it could be good. Whoa. Oh, okay. like Super a meat pie. Super crispy and tender on the outside. It's buttery, it's flaky. It's kind of like all the elements of a great hand pie, but it's savory. I give it an A for all those reasons. I'll go with an A also. Where's this from, Michigan? Specifically wow. the Upper Peninsula. Upper Peninsula, shout out. That's a solid A. That comes out at an A tier. Dang, guys. Number 27, Colorado. Pork chili verde stew. This seems like a really interesting choice for Colorado. Hatch chilies roasted, poblanos, tomatillo, some lime. That looks nice. Simmered. I love so love stew. That's great. That's great. That's really good. That's an S for me. That's an S for me. I did think. I don't know. I don't know if I want to give it an S. I feel like I could only eat so much of it until I'm like, I'm done. I'm giving it an A. But I'm outnumbered. I love it. Colorado S tier. Number 28, Maine. The lobster roll. We all love a good lobster roll. Lobster this is a roll. legendary sandwich roll. I've hot never dog. had a what good lobster Toasted roll. Toasted split though, top bun, to be mandatory. Fair. In goes our lobster, which was heated gently in butter. Add a little bit of chives, maybe some lemon. No, we should taste. go to Maine. It's a regional specialty, and I think specialties have a really high place on a tier list. This lives up to the hype. I'm gonna give it an A. I'm also gonna give it an A. It's big hunks of lobster in a roll, and it tastes good. I'm gonna give it a solid A. We have an A tier. Number 29, Connecticut, which they call this New Haven pizza, but it, they also pronounce it Abitz. I don't know what's going on in Connecticut. So we added a slightly more tart sauce, a little bit of Pecorino Romano, olive oil. It's very, very, very light on the cheese. Look, we're cooking this in a super hot Gosney dome to mimic the heat of the Connecticut coal ovens. Pull it out, it's charred, slightly crispy, yet foldable. Let's that taste. looks good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go D on this, because really good. what this is is a cheese pizza with less cheese than normal. I'm gonna go D. If right. you're in New Haven, just take the train New York City. It's an hour I think away. I like that. I think this is worth no more than a D. Oof, a damning D tier. I would like tier. it. Number 30, I Tennessee. You nice. might guess what this is. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's Nashville hot chicken. I love this dish. I'm gonna do my best to be unbiased. Yum. You toss your crackling fried chicken into a spicy hot seasoned oil all over the chicken legs. You do not go Never light. Never had on the Tennessee. Put it on a big style thick slice chicken. of white bread. A couple pickles and bon appetit. Yum. Go a kick. Out of all the fried bon chickens appetit. in the world, I do love Nashville hot, but I'm gonna give it an A. I'm gonna agree with an A. I'd agree with the A. Delicious A. Number 31, Louise. All right, guys, we're stopping it there. This has been such a great video so far. There's been a few that I'm surprised by, actually, and a lot of furs I've never heard of. I was really surprised about the Spam one, the Spam, like, rice thing. I've heard about it, and I knew, and I know Hawaii is really, like, known for it. Never tried it before, though, but I'm surprised that scored so high up in the tier list actually so that makes me want to try i was just in hawaii a year ago i never tried it am i crazy i'm surprised that like a poke bowl or something didn't get chosen for hawaii because when i was in hawaii i had poke bowls all the time and they were so so yummy um but i never tried the little spam rice little sandwich thing though but interesting but yeah i'm really enjoying this video so far guys i really love the way that they've planned out this video you know what i was thinking this must have been a really long day if they filmed it all in one day because they had to cook the food i'm guessing a chef was making it for them but this is a lot of food to have in one day you know what i mean like to to cook up and taste test like all that time this would have taken forever so i'm curious if they did it in one day or over a few days 
I'm so intrigued, but this is so awesome so far. It's making me so hungry. I can't wait to watch the rest of the video with you guys. Subscribe to the channel so you can be notified for next week when I upload part two. It's going to be so exciting, guys. I um, mean, also, if you didn't know, I do have a Twitch channel where I go live twice a week in 2024. So come through there. You can say hello. It's free to join, free to watch, free to chat, all that good stuff. And feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. She's at Courtney Colston. I do have a full-time job as Cabin Crew, so you can follow my little escapades and adventures on there if you want to as well. But stay tuned for next week, guys, and we'll check out what the rest of the states have in store for us. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Mwah.